everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Funny Business Podcast. Yes, we're back with another banger, with another top hit, with another one hit wonder, with another platinum medal. I'm also here again with my dear friend, Matt. Matt, how are you today? How are things? I'm well. Things are well. Uh, had a great weekend, and we are going to finish it off strong. Yeah. Um, but yeah, things are going great. Uh, I can't really complain. I know you had a very busy week. I, uh, I mean, we both had busy week. weeks, but you had a f- much more fun week than I did. <laughs> I I had one of the busiest of weeks, and I'm sure we'll be talking about it a little bit later in the show. But okay. um, Matt. I have to ask. Yeah, go for it. I'm an open book. When you go to the beach. Yeah. How many times you put on sunscreen? Uh, usually just once. Once? I usually spray myself before we get down there. Uh, if it's super windy on the beach, I'll spray at the condo and walk down. Mm. If it doesn't look like it's very windy, I'll usually spray myself once. But yeah, I usually don't reapply a second time. Do you go in the water? Yeah. What's your SPF on there? <laughs> At most 30, maybe 15. Really? Yeah. Man. Yep. I just burn I can easily. pretty well. I burn easy. Ah, <laughs> uh, I saw a photo. I oh, just you- saw one photo. <laughs> you, you were looking like a lobster. I, I was, I, yeah. I, uh, I took it. And I, yeah. Anyway, um, I, I'm in the peeling stage right now. Mm, so. Yeah. Yep, um, that's always good and bad because, like, it obviously looks like the skin looks like shit when you're peeling. Yeah. However, when you peel off like a huge chunk of skin, you're like, "Well, that's kind of oh, cool." So satisfying. Oh, it's awesome. That's the best. <laughs> you know what I saw on TikTok today was super satisfying, but like something that's like so specific, but super satisfying. Pimple popping. No. Oh. I do that on my own time. <laughs> right. Um, do you know those like toy train sets? yeah okay good um but like you know those like super serious ones that like people make like down in their basement yeah and like typically with the railroad there's dirt that's usually placed on it there's this mechanism that somebody can use that they can run on the track like they can take they can move it with their hand from the track and there's dirt and it evenly disperses the dirt onto the railroad track so that way it looks like it was naturally made in this toy train set track <laughs> that's pretty cool it was cool i saw the comments everybody's like i would never use this but this is oddly satisfying <laughs> yeah I, it's kind of that's where i'm at like i wouldn't really put a toy train set up but yeah that's pretty sick it's dope Let's say you start a podcast, or you're running your own side hustle and have a bunch of links that you want your audience to know about. As a podcast, Matt and I have all of our social media, all of our podcast links, and other important things. Make it easier for your followers to find your important links, social media, and latest content by having it all in one page with solo.to. I'll be honest, I have used similar websites like this, but nothing compares to solo.to. All of your links are clean and easy to navigate. Have an upcoming video? It's really easy to make those changes. Plus, Solo.to has opportunities to upgrade to include more customization, advanced analytics, and so much more. Solo.to is giving us a special opportunity for you to get 10% off if you create an account and upgrade. Be sure to go to Solo.to slash funny business to create your account today. Yeah. Any oddly satisfying things you have found lately? Um, on TikTok or just in general? Anywhere. I love TikToks of like watching people make food. Oh, yes. Love it. Cooking with Daryl, I think is the old guy that always cooks on the Blackstone. Love that guy. He's like the TikTok dad. Yeah. Yes. Uh, He's just at the end of every episode. You kidding me? It's I watch every single video. Do you ever see the, um, uh, the bodega in New York? It's the Aki way. Yes, the Aki way. Yep. It's so disgusting. It's disgusting, but also awesome, awesome to watch. <laughs> um, you know what else is really satisfying? What? 
Have you seen the guys that guess Ike's lunch every day? Guess Ike's lunch every yeah. day? They're the guy, they start every video, all right, day 70 of guessing Ike's lunch today. No. So basically, it's their boss or something like that. He goes okay. out to get lunch every day. And these guys record themselves predicting what he's getting for lunch. It's <laughs> so stupid. Like, it's huge. It's just That's blown amazing. up all over TikTok. They're on huh. like day like 75. <laughs> I'm addicted. I, I watch every video. This guy guesses McDonald's every day, but he calls it Don's. Don's. <laughs> he said, I'm going Don's. Don's. Uh, no, it's electric. It's one guy one time guessed like three days in a row. Wow. Uh, most of the time they're wrong. But oh it's goodness. it's so satisfying to watch. There was this one, um, I guess, day something of doing this um, that I got really hooked to, um, which oddly enough uh, segues pretty well. Um, so sh when Shrek came out on VHS, Crazy there was there was this um, giveaway that they were having. Um, it was either a Baskin Robbins free ice cream or the top tier prize was um, a like sedan or like a van, like a Toyota or a hunt, uh, something. And he opens, he has multiple VHSs of Shrek and he tries to open up to see if he keeps winning. And he's like, it's a Baskin Robbins coupon <laughs> every time. <laughs> I, I love stuff like that. Cause it's so stupid, but yeah, it's on TikTok that I'll watch it. And I'll yeah. watch like 10 videos for a week of it because it's just so funny. You really start to observe what society really thinks. How how we consume mm -hmm. content, I should say. Um, yeah. Just stupid a lot and just very meme if you have to ask me. Um, but Matt, let me ask you another question here, pal. Yeah, go for it. When was the last time you were at a party? Um, does like a concert count? Um, that's a concert. Like just a house party? Yeah, like a party, like a bar um, party. You got invited. Hey, man, come on over, have some drinks. Wow, I don't know. Okay. It's it's been a couple months. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the Brooklyn Monarch. All right. Mm hmm. Several rooms. Uh, this is in Brooklyn, by the way, if you couldn't I tell. <laughs> Thank you for that clarification. Look, you're welcome. Just in case if our audience doesn't know where Brooklyn is. <laughs> Brooklyn, New York. Um, several rooms, large bar, and a backyard covered um, in turf. Hundreds of partygoers, many of whom arrive in normal clothes, while some made an effort with face paint. Filled the space by midnight. Matt, okay. artificial vines, plush thrones, posters, and fake apple trees served as props. Large cardboard cutouts of somebody uh, were also sprinkled throughout, including one that became slightly crumpled at the base after someone used it for selfies and to twerk against. Okay. Do you know what type of party this is, Matt? What Sounds themed party like this a, is? Uh, like an orgy. Um, so, very weird. No, but let's rearrange those letters. Let's drop a letters. It's an ogre party. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, so Jordan Craig, who was a Los Angeles based artist, content creator and screenwriter known as Cash, uh, got the idea of a Shrek rave back in 2020 in Los back. Uh, yeah, host the rave in 2020 said that Shrek, like SpongeBob SquarePants, continued to age well online, and that was the reason to throw a party. He then took this party and he brought it to New York. Matt, there was a Shrek rave in Brooklyn, New York, this past week or two weeks, I should say. So this guy went through COVID. It was like, you know what these people need post COVID? A Shrek rave. Yes. Wow. That's uh, that's one hell of a party right there. Yeah. So people were in green face paint. Um, there was uh, cutouts of the ogre of the hour <laughs> uh, spread throughout. Um, there was music. Uh, obviously, Matt, we all know the song of the show, yep. the movie, I should say. Yep. It is. I'm a believer. Close. Um, All Star by Smash. Oh, Man. yeah. Oh, oh, how could I forget? <laughs> um, 
that was basically to kick off the party at around 10 p.m. Uh, basically, the crowd erupt, dancing, singing along. Um, one attendee who gave his name only as Nick rolled on the floor, unbuttoned his short sleeve shirt and flailed while singing along the lyrics. Hey, now you're a rock star. Get the show on. Get paid. Um, and then this was quoted. Uh, when people say there's a Shrek rave, where else are you going to go? Said Nick. I found out about this day, day and a half, a day and a half ago. I wish I knew earlier. I would have brought earwax. <sighs> What <laughs> would you go to this? Heck yeah, I would. What do, what do you wear to a Shrek rave? Um, well, I would probably try my best in wearing what Shrek wears in the movie. I I don't know, or like I medieval, mean, like definitely medieval, <laughs> like some type of like I don't want to say dress or something like that, but definitely like in a medieval time per se. Yeah, okay, I guess. I, I, I guess this is cool. I, I don't know. Um, I just feel like it's kind of a hard party to, thing to dress up for. I think Shrek is just a hard movie in general. Unless you go I with mean, green face paint. I mean, like, I, I mean, I was looking through some of the, <laughs> the photos. Uh, it's, it's quite, quite uh, unique and interesting. Um, some of the standouts among the costume attendees included three guys who had their face covered in green paint and foam chins who wore button down shirts with suspenders. Uh, a look that they admitted was not quite the theme, but it still stood out. I think anyone that goes to a Shrek rave is going to stand out. <laughs> like, that kind of comes to the territory of going to a Shrek rave. Um, do you think they ate like slugs and like stuff? What do you think the food and beverage was? I mean, I kind think it was got here. straight up. <laughs> What's the move? Uh, I think it's just straight up drinks. Um, looking around, just seeing what people looks like. People were just regularly holding, um, you know, some of the, the go to drinks. Uh, but uh, people were coming. Um, Else in other costumes, one group of friends entered wearing uh, fuzzy green ears made of pipe cleaners and had green glitter shimmering on their faces and bodies. Another person appeared wearing a large mascot style gingerbread man head. Uh, Gavin Ryan, a DJ who spins as Beethoven, B-A-E-T-O-V-I-N. That, that's, that's quite the DJ name. Mm -hmm. um, came dressed as the villainous Lord Farquaad, uh, wearing a red cape, a ruffled white top, and a gold crown. I think this is what um, Mr. Ryan said. I think Lord Farquaad was deaf, rocking, Gavinci, and Balenciaga. Maybe some Hermes, said Mr. Ryan, who performed his set. And a little Tory Burch, to be honest. This guy was like pretty you, accurate. I feel like if you dress up as Lord Farquaad, you have to be like 5'3". Yeah, you, you got to be short. You can't be like <laughs> six foot and dress up as Lord Farquaad because that doesn't work. Yeah. Um, Another thing that happened to Matt was they had a big movie screen. Guess what they played at the bar? Shrek 2. No, Shrek on repeat. The okay, whole I, night. See, I don't like that. I think you got to go from Shrek 1 to Shrek 2 to Shrek 3. I think you saw the whole thing. I think if you're at the end, all of them. The Christmas special, everything. <laughs> um, I think Gingy would be the easiest one to dress up as. No, you know who would be easy to dress up as? Who? Um, the Big Bad Wolf. You just get a nightgown. Pink that's nightgown. That's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Or felonious. Yes. Three. Good point. Pick number three, my lord. Yeah, pick number three, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> um, Matt, they also had a special... Um, guest artist performing um steve aoki uh no it's it's okay uh the punk rapper lust sick puppy uh took the stage around 1 a.m by the time which the scent of liquor drugs and sweat had filled the space her music music which she described as a circus and purgatory quickly touched off a mosh pit uh-oh and then toward the end of the night, many guests relocated to the backyard, clearing out most of the main room. Shortly after 2 a.m., Mr. Craig took to the stage to play All-Star again. Someone requested it, he explained. Before the first verse of the song was over, people came flying back inside, running towards the DJ booth. <laughs> wow. 
Um, I don't know if you would find me in a Shrek grave. Dude, we could go together. You could be Donkey. I could be Shrek. I don't think you can dress up as Donkey. Yeah, you can. I swear How? Donkey ears. I could be my ass for a night. Whoa. <laughs> Mom, pick me up. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> Do you think, Matt, people are tired of hearing our Anchor ad? Yeah, probably. But let's be honest, if it wasn't for Anchor, we would not be doing a podcast. You're right, Matt. Once again, we have to thank Anchor for helping us continue to make each episode. Y'all know how it works. Anchor is free. It's easy to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. And distributes your podcast to platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and more. And you all know that you can make money, too, even with the first couple episodes that you start with. So why haven't you started your own podcast yet? Anchor is everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app today or go to anchor.fm to get started. That's anchor.fm. So Mike, when do you think we'll stop talking about Anchor? Oh man, Matt. I, you know what? To be completely honest, I think we'll be talking about this for a long time. Yeah, I, I just found this. I, I think again. Jordan Craig proves a great point. And he said he actually had a quote. We all consume that, which he meant Shrek um, th- at the same time. So we have a kinship with it. Um, it's one of two things I feel like everyone watched that no one feels embarrassed by. So, Matt, I feel like you're a little embarrassed that you watch. Uh, Shrek. No, I'm not embarrassed not. to watch Shrek. No, Are I just sure? think I would be awkward at this party. Then again, I'm awkward at every party. So. <laughs> Uh, can you keep it down back there? This is this is the man who came in in a diaper on Halloween. <laughs> I, yes, the Tommy the Pickles diaper. outfit is <laughs> is one of my greatest moments in my life. I will have um, to say that diaper was probably the most comfortable because you had the most breeze between the knees, and that place usually gets hot during the night. Yeah, no, I was not sweaty down there at all. Yeah, it was it was it kept uh, kept nice. Um, <laughs> No, I love Shrek, and I'm not afraid or ashamed that I watch Shrek. I just don't know. Like, if I was going to this, I would want to participate to the fullest. Okay. And I just don't know who I would want to dress up as or, like, how I would do that. Do Like, also, was there an orange orange cat at this party? Because if not, then... don't think so. Then did you really go to Shrek Grave? But... Like, you could have worn green. Like, it, I think it really just goes back to the point where it just brought people together. It brought people together that they all knew about Shrek. They knew the songs. They knew the one-liners. Um, you know, they knew that ogres are like onions. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I think it just, I don't know. I think from us coming out of a post-pandemic world, I think we need stuff like this to get people back together again. I also want to know what part of 2020 it was when he discovered this. If it was like pre-COVID, like right into COVID, or like in July when we're all like, oh, is this ever going to end? I think from... I was curious about that part. Yeah, I mean, just... And I'm just speculating here. I think just based on how all of us were consuming content in those six to seven months of us Mm -hmm. being locked behind closed doors, I think everybody was rewatching a lot of like childhood stories, childhood movies, um, really pulling out the Pokemon cards and the Yu-Gi-Oh cards because they couldn't find nothing else to do. And this guy's like, yeah, he's like, I got to host a Shrek rave when it's appropriate to do it. Yeah, I'm listening. It was a big hit. Obviously, people <laughs> like it. But um. Yeah, so Matt, uh, what other rave parties should we create to get the people going? Gets the people going. Um, wow. I think a cool one would be Step Brothers, because they all dress up like nerds. Yeah. <laughs> um, just do some and then karate just in the garage. Put boats and hoes on repeat. Yeah, yeah boats and hoes. <laughs> we got to have a boat in the backyard, a treehouse, uh, karate in the garage. Yep. Uh, everybody gets a tuxedo t-shirt on the way in. 
Uh, <laughs> uh, what else could we have? You got any? I I was thinking of um like memes. Like like a what do you meme party? Kind of like dressing up as like online internet memes like one of which you were pointing at me. I feel like you yeah. you had an idea. Vines. Yes. Mhm. Mm I want to bring huge road work ahead. <laughs> to a party. I sure hope it I does. Sure ho Look at all those, those chickens. chickens. Yeah, like little mini chicken bites. <laughs> yeah. I said that in the group chat um, this week because somebody said there's road work ahead. And I said, I sure hope it does. And nobody got my joke. No one got that? That's no upsetting. One. No one. God. It's okay. Whenever you make a good joke like that and nobody oh. gets it, it brings your mood down. <laughs> I have to say, Jenna's dad had the best. I think I was laughing for three minutes straight in the car. Um, so we were going um, on a bridge. Uh, whatever. We were going on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. Have you ever been yeah. on that, Matt? Um, I don't know if I've been on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. Okay. Chesapeake Bay Bridge. I don't think so. That's okay. So there, the tunnel, um, for anybody who's been on it, um, it goes from, it's in the middle of the, of the water. Like mm -hmm. it's, there's no like land, like you are just straight water and you're going on the bridge. And then there's times when you go through a tunnel and then you come back up on the bridge and then go under the tunnel. And we came under the tunnel and jokingly, I said, okay, let's hold our breath to see who can hold it the longest. Um, because there is a bridge in particular that I have to get to, to see Matt, <laughs> Jenna's parents, vice versa. Mm -hmm. Yep. And he said, what would be worse? Having tunnel under, ha having water drip. Yeah, he's like, you know how water drips when you're going through that said tunnel back at home? He's like, I wonder what's worse. Seeing water drip in that tunnel or seeing water drip on the Chesapeake Bay Tunnel? Yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's, uh, that's a good point. <laughs> Both not great. Not great at all. But no. freaking hilarious. Yeah, hysterical. Yeah. <laughs> and then we were just talking about like, what would you, what would you rather want? And it's like, I would probably just want the water in the tunnel back at home because if rubble, if earth collapses if if a mountain collapses at least i'm gonna get crushed and just gone but if the chesapeake bay tunnel co collapses i will probably drown and that's even more of a horrifying swim? well you're gonna be trapped we open the corridor and swim the yeah, car where, where are you gonna swim matt <laughs> if the, to the to if the, the bridge the collapses which is underwater by the way yeah where are you going to swim? Up. Okay, I'm skipping this conversation. <laughs> no, I don't, I, I, don't under, I don't understand this question. What do you mean where are you going to swim? I you're said swim you're up? in the middle of the water. Correct. Okay? Yeah. The bridge, the, the tunnel collapses. Yes. You literally have overhead a tunnel. Yes. The tunnel collapses. Okay, you swim through the tunnel. And then up. What is the tunnel? The tunnel collapses. It's not one part that's going to collapse. It's the entire thing that's going to collapse. So you swim through where the opening would be. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> it's impossible. No, no. Yes, no. it is. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. <laughs> I, well, let's just move on. You need to go under that bridge and you need to you Maybe need to I don't report fully back. understand this bridge, but isn't there an end? There's an opening at the end of the bridge, correct? What do you mean? Or at the tunnel. There's an opening at the end of the tunnel. Oh my god, I am going to send you a photo. <laughs> it's a tunnel. You have to come out one side or the other. Yeah. Whatever. What if you're at the very end and it collapses? You swim through I'm the end. I'm sending you a photo. Yeah, please do. This is... <laughs> I'll do this one. I maybe I'm just dumb or I'm just smarter than everybody else. I send it in chat. Okay. <laughs> oh my right. god. Okay, so you drive up and then 
Am I looking at the right? Yeah, you're. <laughs> yes, you are. What am I looking at here? You're looking at the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. <laughs> so you're literally in the middle of the water. Right. So you literally oh, are on the in. bridge. Yeah, but then you go underneath. Then you go underneath. And that whole stretch from until the other side is a tunnel. Yeah, so if the bridge collapses, you just get out of your car, get out of the tunnel, and swim up to the, sh- to the air. Do you want... <laughs> okay, I'm so tired of this conversation. <laughs> it correct. is impossible for you... No, you're not. It is so impossible to do that. Uh, not if you're Aquaman. Okay. You're just having intercourse with a said. fish. I stand by what I said. <laughs> or, what if you just grab like a turtle? I like and turtles. Just, uh, r- right. <laughs> um, and then you just ride the turtle to safety. Okay. Right. We'll, let, we'll let Matt's imagination run through this it, episode, it's, everybody. It's genius. Yep. Yes, you are. I know. Yes. It's yes, a blessing you and a curse. Uh huh. I'm sure your mom tells you that all the time. <laughs> yeah. She does. Oh, man. So, uh, no expectation as far as when the next Shrek rave is, but um, if it's in the area, you know, I will go because why not? We should have a funny business rave. What would people be wearing? Suits and ties. Suits and ties. No, well, it'd be like tuxedo t-shirts because we're right. funny business. Yeah. Casual, casual, casual. Bus- business casual. Casual Tuesday. <laughs> I, I love casual Tuesday. I love casual Tuesday. I love we casual. Never, we never should have stopped casual Tuesday. Monday. <laughs> there was no good reason. No. It's a little upsetting. It is. But anyway. Gets you a little sad. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I also feel like no one would come to a uh, funny business rave. I feel like there'd be some. I think we'd have a party of four, and it'd be yep. you and me, April and Jetta. Yeah. <laughs> I could actually ask April, would you come to a funny business rave? Am I going to be there? Yes. <laughs> yes, Jetta. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, yeah, it's kind of hurtful. Um <laughs> Well, now I'm really sad, which is uh, a good segue into our first segment of the day. Uh, Mike, let's let's get into some down in the dumps. Um, I will just go first after yeah, go ahead. that gut punch. Let me pull it up real quick. All right. I have a few. Um, so this past weekend, I went with April and her... Uh, family to Hershey Park. It was a great trip. Um, got some candy. We got some orange cream pop Twizzlers. So it's orange Twizzlers with like cream in the middle. Mm. Very excited to try that. We got some dark chocolate. I got some Jolly Rancher sour gummies that I'm excited for. The trip was great. That's not what the down of the dumps is for. Uh, on the way back this past weekend, we stopped at the outlets. We're walking around. Yes. My back just tightened up. Oh no! Like halfway through the outlets, <laughs> and I could barely walk. <laughs> it was v- excruciating pain. Uh, I have no idea why. And then I took some Advil, so we sat down for lunch, and it was better. So I really don't know where that came from. Um, but really, fingers crossed, I don't have back problems in the future because back problems suck. They, dude, they do. That's what a chiropractor's for. I would love to go to a chiropractor. You should. Would love it. Another. Uh, the only other bad thing in Hershey, so I found these Kit Kats once. They're okay. strawberry Kit Kats. Okay. Like with dark chocolate. It's a strawberry dark chocolate like on the outside and the Kit Kat on the inside. Now you would think in Hershey Park, in Hershey in general, that I could find strawberry Kit Kats. Oh, no. They had every Kit Kat but strawberry. Oh, no. That's upsetting. I was like, how is, like, this is my life. Like, how huh? is this possible? Oh, gosh. Yeah, so that was sad. And then the last thing, um, I don't know how I did this, Mike, 
Um, maybe you can, as the tech expert, you can provide some assistance. How does this happen? Holy shit. Explain to the people what happened. Yeah, so if you're uh, not watching on YouTube, but you can find it at solo.to slash funny business, uh, <laughs> my phone charger is at like almost a 45 degree angle. <laughs> and I have no Pretty idea terrible. how it happened. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> um, so I, 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 this has actually happened to me before. Please do tell. With my laptop charging cable. Um, so do you charge your ipad with that no okay you only I charge your phone my with ipad in like three months so what happened to me was i had my laptop plugged in so it was USB C. so i plugged it into my laptop i then put it on the side of my couch i started falling asleep the laptop dr- dropped mm. and it landed on the cable mm. and did that 45 Mm-hmm. degree 15 to 45 degree bent yeah so then i had to go out and buy a new charger you don't um, have like 16 others like stuffed not really which is surprising <laughs> uh but i also bought like 10 for cable that's nice yeah so it's uh able to reach further uh but that was yeah i woke up one morning and i was like that's odd now, am I correct in saying it's unsafe to use? Very unsafe. Okay. I haven't used it for the record oh. <laughs> since since. Um, but yeah, that's those are uh those are my down in the dumpster. Today. Wow. You're 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 a little dumpy person. Yeah, for having a great weekend, I had a lot of down in the dumps. Yeah. Well, I only have two. Um okay. Obviously, for me, coming back from vacation, uh, this was, I, th- I think I've hyped it up long enough. Um, this was the first vacation ever that I actually went a full week. Um, it's always either been weekend trips, um, Thursday, Friday trips, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, this was the first Monday, well, technically, Saturday to Saturday vacation Mm -hmm. i've ever taken in my life and you know let me tell you it i i'm hoping it's giving me the reset that i need for what i'm hoping to um i don't want to say achieve but what i'm expecting moving forward in the work life balance of everything um i did get a lot of sunburn um but like overall like i it was it was so much fun um, Jenna's family was fun. Uh, we got second place in the annual cornhole tournament. Nice. Ah, uh, dude. So, fun fact: this is not down in the dumps, but this is like kind of a win. So, have you, have we ever played cornhole together? You know, I don't think we have. I don't think we have. No. So I actually changed my the way I shoot cornhole. Oh. In like a day. Okay. So I used to ball it up and I used to basically target it. Like mm-hmm. I used to ball up the, the, the bean bag and then I used to chuck it. Now I actually toss it with a rotate. Like I, I throw it like a frisbee. And let me okay. tell you, I was on fire a lot of, a lot of times. I had three air mails. There's the one time I had four air mails the one time, but that was off competition. Um, but yeah, I changed my shot mid, mid vacation. And That's a big commitment. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. Um, and then the couples tournament. Let me tell you, the people who beat us for first place, Jenna and I played them in the couples tournament. So there's the regular tournament, which we like draw and like we have a racket set up, double elimination. Then there's the couples tournament, which is single elimination. Yeah, we beat them because Jenna was just on freaking fire tossing the cornhole. <laughs> like I could not, bl- I was like, you carried my ass. And she's like, no, you didn't. It's like, yes, you did. <laughs> so it, it was, it was quite shocking that, that I don't want to say we won, but like just because they won, this couple won the cornhole tournament all together that we beat mm-hmm. them in the couples tournament. It was very weird. Um, but yeah, just coming back from vacation, 
Yeah, do you want all the unpacking? You got to like, yep. you know, especially if you're working, like you kind of have to like prep yourself come Monday. Like, OK, what am I getting thrown at as soon as I come into the office on Monday? Um, you know, I, I really tried to disconnect myself for a little bit, but unfortunately that that didn't happen in most cases, which was fine. Um, I, I'll definitely be OK with that. But uh, yeah, come back from vacation. It, it sucks. And, and I don't care who we are, whether it's a day or two or seven, um, you should take a vacation. That's mm -hmm. take a vacation. Yep. However long you need it, however long you are able to take yep. a vacation. Um, work will never change. Um, because you're leaving. Trust the me. work that you didn't do is still going to be there when you get back. Correct. Uh, <laughs> don't ever let anyone vacation shame you. If you're a vacation shamer, screw you. Because we're going to take vacations. I will say it is it is much different coming back to work after a week long vacation. I obviously just did it. Yeah. Um, you're going to have, I don't know, we probably checked your emails, but you're going to have a lot of emails. There's going to be yep. a lot of catching up. But mm -hmm. in general, I, I feel like week long vacations are still worth it, even with work. Um, I, I think you do get a good reset. You might be stressed the first couple of days coming back, which is normal. Um, but I think you'll definitely, in the long run, feel like it was worth it. Yeah. We also went jet skiing. Jenna and I did. I saw that. Oh, man, baby. <laughs> Always wanted to do that. I could understand why people want to jet ski in their <laughs> midlife crisis. <laughs> you ever yeah, been on one of those? That. Have you ever been on one of those? No, I never have. I oh always wanted to. Oh, my God. Uh, Always wanted to. I was going 50 at one point. <laughs> Damn. Jenna's like, you can go faster. I'm like, no, I can't. <laughs> yeah. So... It's like riding a snowmobile. Um, it's definitely not riding like a bike. Because let me tell you, oh, you have the oh. waves. And oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Am I able to ride a jet ski if I don't know how to ride a bike? Yes, you totally can. Good. Excellent. Yeah. It's, it's, you have to get used to it. Like it's because I wanted to correct myself every time the boat hit a wave. And it was like kind of leaning to the left. And I was trying to correct myself because I was going forward. And I'm like, ah. Yeah. You didn't get wet too. Your feet only got wet, but you didn't get a whole lot of really? wet. When yeah, it was it was quite impressive. Like the only time we got wet was getting off the jet ski, and that was because that was the only way we could have gotten off the jet ski. Like you had to get off um, in the water. Yeah, you had to get off. Like it was like knee height water, and like of course, like for me it was knee height, but like Jenna, <laughs> right? Um, but uh yeah it was it was such a good time it was That's a good time and, and then like i shared with you before the podcast recording we went mini golfing but it mm -hmm. wasn't like true like i guess it's astroturf or like turf mini golfing like mm -hmm. it's true grass um like they have on actual like golfing like 18 holes that type of crap mm -hmm. um it was so much fun it was so good it was so good That's um good. but anyway um my second thing which is I, I noticed it coming back from vacation um and this actually has nothing to do with vacation um watching baseball matt i watched um the yankees and the red sox face off the other night mm -hmm. and like i just remember when i was playing base actively paying playing baseball um teener league junior high baseball i always watched a yankees game if it was on or not and like i don't know if you were paying attention to last night's score mm -hmm. they smoked the red Sox, yep. and even today at the time of this recording they smoked the red Sox again yep. um you know just just being able to watch it like i don't know like you get i i don't know i i feel like it was something that that i always enjoyed watching as a kid um because i was even taught i was watching with jenna's dad steve and i was talking about back um during the championship season for the yankees in oh nine oh eight oh nine uh, oh yeah oh nine um about the bases loaded walk-off win by alex rodriguez which was mm -hmm. a pop out from castillo in second base <laughs> they won in the bottom of the ninth with two outs <laughs> um still the funniest thing i still remember to, that play by play right i stayed the up to watch word. i stayed up to watch that game yeah um but then even like the world series like staying up to watch it and like yeah yankees knock on wood this year as a season as a whole they're doing pretty well um 
just hoping after the all-star break that they can keep that going and actually lead it to being a contender for for the world series um but yeah just like watching baseball it, it it's something that i totally have missed out on that mm-hmm. that i haven't done in a while and like of course like I, I don't watch too much tv but just going back and realizing i'm like oh yeah like I like watching it. I mean, mm-hmm. also too, I'm I'm sitting in a Phillies uh, house when I'm at yeah. Jenna's parents' house. So typically the Phillies are on, but their second favorite team was the Red Sox. So the Yankees were playing the Red Sox. So I kind yeah, whatever. I kind of yeah. got a little bit of an opportunity to watch that. So um, I do have to say, mm-hmm. last um, last night, whoever produced the Fox News baseball for the Red Sox and Yankees, whoever did the graphics, I'm sorry disrespectful and you need to really rethink about what you can do in creating graphics matt they took the yankees logo and the red sox logo and they put it over the 9-11 memorial and they flew over with the graphic oh like right in the infinity pool Mm. i was like how stupid can you be so stupid you have thousands of other landmarks in new york city and you pick that yeah for a baseball game stupid so it's freaking ridiculous. stupid sorry yeah it's ridiculous. you have the subway you have the empire state building you have rockefeller center you have mm-hmm. the statue of liberty um oh gosh there's just uh, Times square there's so many other places you could have done that but you had to do it at the 9 11 yeah. memorial infinity pools the sex museum yeah the sex museum yeah like that'd be sick so many places to do it yeah uh yeah i also haven't been watching much baseball um, I'm gonna, something I'm trying to get back into. Uh, I'll just throw another down in the dumps out there real quick. Yeah. Um, I wish I was in a position to turn down four hundred and forty million dollars. Oh my gosh, Juan Soto! What the heck? <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, for those that don't know, Juan Soto's known as one of the better players in baseball. Very young, I think he's like 23, 20, 24, 23 I looked it up last night. Yeah. Uh, he's a free agent at the end of the year. A lot of teams are gonna be interested in signing him. The Nationals offered him a fifteen-year. $440 million contract extension, and he said no. So, <laughs> must be nice to know that I can, that he can turn down $440 million and then he's just going to make that back, if not more, this summer. At 23 years old. At 23 years old. What? And at 23 years old, uh, what was I doing when I was 23? Uh, Wasn't that 20? I think I was making seven twenty five an hour. <laughs> yeah. I was making five bucks an hour. <laughs> Yeah, it's ridiculous. That's rid- um, oh my gosh. Also, uh, also, another one out there sports related. Uh, the Phoenix Suns still haven't traded for Kevin Durant, and I'm very nervous that it's just not going to happen at this point. Oh. Did you did you not hear this? No, I did not. Oh yeah, Durant asked for a trade out of Brooklyn. Uh, yeah, I know Durant wants to be out, but I didn't yeah, know no, the Suns were he's, interested. He's like, it's they're his top team. Really? Yeah, it, it just hasn't happened yet, and I'm like, yeah, any day now, please. That's interesting. Yeah. It's probably huh. if they trade him, it's either going to be them or the Heat. Hmm. So we'll see what happens there. I'd like to see him with the Heat. I would not. <laughs> I would very much love I'm to kidding. see him in Phoenix. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, moving on, we have one more segment for you all before we head on for our weekend. It is time for another edition of Say What. <laughs> hold my breath on that one um i'll go first on this one since you just finished up okay uh you're down in the dumps uh so my first one mike uh i started playing something again and you didn't tell me on my phone wait let me guess it okay is it something that you and I were playing at one point. I don't know if you were playing at one point. Well, Fortnite's not on the App Store. No, it's so. not Fortnite. I, would, um, I, I, I don't play Fortnite with anyone else but you. Uh, is it PUBG? Nope. No. Um, one oh, more guess. Candy Crush. No. Okay. I give up. Pokemon Go is still kind of fun. Oh. Yeah. Not played it a lot, 
just once in a while, like we've been, me and April uh, have been like just checking in, like catching some Pokemon, seeing if there's any like Poke Stops. I don't, I'm not like addicted to it, but uh-huh. if we're bored, we'll just open it up, see if we can catch anything, put it away. It's still kind of fun. Wow. It's making you, a comeback. It is. It is. I mean, not as big as when it was in 2016, but mm-hmm. they still it, update it like every day. Yeah. Wow. Have you caught anything good? Yeah, I caught a Charizard the other day. Nice. Yeah. The sex <laughs> got a birthday hat on because it was like the oh anniversary of Pokemon Go. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Um, it, it, I'm sure you find it in more, I don't want to say heavily populated areas, but like places like amusement parks, ballparks, mm-hmm. parks, mm-hmm. Um, museums. More like attractions. Yeah. Yeah. Places where people from the public can go. Correct. Makes sense. Yeah. So it's still fun. Uh, I'm not addicted to it. Don't plan on being addicted to it. Uh, But it's nice to do every once in a while. I'm glad that you're finding a hobby again, Matt. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, it's going to be Fortnite and Rocket League all over again. (sighs) Might be. You're going to be like, dang, I wish I just, I need a little bit more adrenaline on this one. (laughs) I might. You never know. Or rage quitting. Well, yeah, that too. Uh, maybe we could play Fall Guys finally together. Maybe, yeah. It hasn't that hasn't happened yet? No. And the the team. I don't know if you saw with the update. The team style is better now. Like you I actually have, play for points. You play probably saw Courage play, right? I've seen a little bit yeah. of it. Yeah. We Seems play fun. more for play more for points than than standings. Mm-hmm. So okay. Anything else? Uh, do your first one and then I'll go. Okay. I only have one for today. Okay. That's fine. Um, so I, I've been finding this out recently and, and I'm going to yell at Mark Zuckerberg again because I love okay, doing that. Yep. Um, bastard. Oh, geez. So you know how many options you can when it comes, how many options you can react to something, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. So let me just for the people at home, I'm going to read out. Yeah. Here, can I guess them? Uh, let me pull up a post okay. that I don't want to randomly yep. like her. Yep. So go Good ahead. Call. Like. Yep. Love. Yep. Care. Yep. Uh, comfort or cry. There's a crying one. Uh, there is a sad, but I'll get that to you. Yeah, that's what I meant. Um, confused. Uh, wow. All right, laugh. Ha ha. Yep. Yep. That's all I know. Uh, okay, so there's like, love, care, ha ha, wow, sad, and angry. Mm, yeah, that's what okay. I'm at. So, what I've been finding out, Matt, um, and it's been very unfortunate, is, is that, I mean, since 2020 as a whole, people have definitely been going through a tough time. And people, obviously, when people pass away, when they're struggling, mm-hmm. they, they, they sometimes make a Facebook post out of it. Mm-hmm. And you obviously want to do the care reaction because, hey, I'm caring for you. But the ha ha button is right next to it. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not saying I've done this from experience myself, but I've actually seen a Facebook post from somebody who has. Um, and they said that the person that they ha ha to instead of caring to, um, and it was about a miscarriage, actually, um, they blocked them. Oh, no. On Facebook. Yeah. So, uh, Mark, I don't know what made, like, I would be okay if the sad, like, the care and the sad button Mm -hmm. was next to each other. Yep. Because usually when you do care, you're caring for somebody. When you do sad, maybe you're sad for somebody. But there is a drastic difference between caring for somebody and being like, ha ha. Um, Yeah. uh, I, I have been very careful when I have reacted to people's posts because God forbid the last thing I want is for me to ha ha at somebody's post about their grandfather passing away. Mm-hmm. So I agree with that, but can't you change that? No, you can't change it. It's, it's standard on everybody. You can't. I mean, oh, I you think- can change. Sorry, you can change your reaction. Yeah. But people are still going to get the notification that you ha ha at it. Oh, I know that. Yeah. That's tough. Yeah, I agree. Uh, just fix it up. How do you feel about the uh, the dislike button on Twitter? 
Uh, do you mean the down vote? Down vote. Yeah, same thing. I haven't experienced it much enough to to make an opinion on it. Um, however, you can just downvote I, it. Just to downvote it. Yeah. However, I do like the new update that they came out that you can um, unmention yourself. So, like, if there's like an interesting oh. conversation and you don't want to be like, yeah, like when somebody replies to you, they're either replying to you yourself or the person who's replied to your thread or the third person or the fifth person who's replied to your thread. You can unmention yourself so that way you aren't included in those conversations. I, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. Um, all right. My last one. Um, customer service is just dead. Um, so we stayed at Hershey Park, not stayed at Hershey Park, we stayed at the Hershey Lodge, real close to it. Didn't get the, the best service there, um, just people weren't super, like, friendly, it was more so just like, okay, here's your room, here's your stuff, get out at this time, yada yada yada. Uh, so we went to eat dinner at this, at one of the restaurants there, and we got there at like 9.45, but they still sat us. Okay. And how long does it usually take to eat dinner? Like hour fifteen at a restaurant, maybe. From the time you order to yeah, the time from you like get the time food? you sit down. So like if okay, it's just for math because I can't do math in my head. Let's say you have a seven o'clock reservation. Yeah. Get sat down like seven o two. Yep. I would say seven fifteen, seven twenty. You should get your food. That seems quick. I think you should get your food that quick. Well, okay, maybe seven thirty. Like, yeah, because I guess it also depends too on when the wait- waiter or waitress comes in <laughs> to ask for your order. Right. Um. Mm-hmm. So they closed at ten. Okay. They sat us at nine forty-five. Okay. Which is weird, right? So then. Took us a while to get our drinks. Then the waiter, Rachel, was like, I will right, we'll be back. I'll be back right back to take your order. That was like five, ten minutes. So we didn't really stop, like, get our food till like 1030. Right. When they closed at 10. Mm-hmm. And then we didn't really finish eating till closer to like 11. She asked us if we wanted dessert. We got dessert. I got a, an Irish coffee. It gets to the point where the manager comes over and is like, hey, guys, uh, we, we closed at 10 o'clock if you, if you guys wouldn't mind leaving. We're like, we did. Like, we were about to leave. But if you close at 10 o'clock, maybe don't sit a table of four at right before you close. Did you get your coffee? Did you have to pay for your uh, coffee? No, I had a, to drink my coffee quicker than I wanted to. No, but did you have to pay for it? Yeah, well, oh yeah, we paid we paid oh for it. Oh my god, I wouldn't have done that. I would have been like, no way, Jose. Like you your management team sat us down at 945 yes. and now you're telling me to leave. Yeah, right. No. Yeah, he also said like he didn't say like I apologize or like if, he didn't say like if you guys could like wrap up in the next five, ten minutes. It was oh. more so like, hey, uh we closed like an hour ago. Get out. Yeah. Said so you go to like uh, sheets. But the smile on his face really made it okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah that, that's yeah yeah uh but yeah just in general just customer service anywhere i feel like well except that when you when you have me for customer service it's always <laughs> always a smile on my face what Thank you. oh yeah and then as we're leaving i was wearing the good good reminder april um as we're leaving i had an aaron judge t-shirt on he's like hey uh saw the yankees did really well today and I was just like, yep. <laughs> you should have called. Out. You should have called. Hi, can I speak to your manager, please? <laughs> Hi, this is the guy that was wearing the Aaron Judge jersey. How was the Red Sox tonight? Yeah. I think karma's a bitch and mm-hmm. the Yankees took care for you for yeah. the next two games. Oh, absolutely. So. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I just feel like anywhere you go, customer service just isn't as good as it was. Maybe it's part of COVID. People are still. Yeah. I don't know. It's just uh, it's frustrating. See, I'll be honest. I'm always like I'm I'm pretty firm when it comes to customer service. Like, you yes, you are human, but it is your job to do what mm-hmm. you're delegated and tasked to do. Yep. Um, 
So there's a lot of times where I know the person that I'm talking to is not responsible for my issue or my problem, but they're responsible for fixing my issue. Mm -hmm. So even when I remember, what was it? I got, a, I got a postcard in the mail from my internet provider and it said, oh, like, here's this card. Call it for a complimentary checkup um, and to, you know, see if you're getting your best, best bang for your buck. I'm like, right. oh, perfect. So I kind of kept the card to the side. They sent me a second card. I'm like, okay, so I really should call that. I call them and I tell them exactly. I got it in the mail, yada, yada, yada. He goes, oh, great. And he's like looking up the account. He goes, so uh, what do you do with your internet? And I'm like, internet stuff? <laughs> no, like, come on. Um, like, what do you do with your internet? <laughs> he's <laughs> um, and he's like, well, he's like, I got this great deal free. And I'm like, that's not, I said, this is not the point of the call. I said, the point of the call was to make sure that I was, I had everything okay. I said, the thing I'm not happy with right now is that you raised my price mm -hmm. and I haven't done anything to raise the price. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, you weren't doing audit. You were on auto pay and you were paying early. I said, that makes no sense. I said, if I'm paying early, I'm still paying you guys. Did they penalize <laughs> you for paying early? Yeah, it's like, I get like, penalized oh, for pay paying your, early. Oh, oh <laughs> you're going to pay your bill a week in advance? Yeah, we're going to add $10 to your bill. Uh, like, yeah. what? <laughs> Does that make any sense? I might actually call him and put and say that. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, again, I get everybody is short staffed, overwhelmed, mm -hmm. but I'm sorry, Matt, your scenario is just plain stupid. Yeah. Of you getting sat down at 945, they close at 10. Yeah. And you still had to pay for your coffee. Yeah. <laughs> just, just be like, hey, we close in 15 minutes. Yeah. We really don't want to sit anyone. We'd be like, all right. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. either. Don't blame you. Mm hmm. Yeah, but they sat you down. Yep. Oh, I would have. Oh, you're lucky I wasn't I, with if you. If we weren't like just about to get up and leave, I think we probably would have said something. But we were like just about to get up and leave. They just happened to piss us off at in doing so. Oh, yeah. It was great coffee though. I bet it's probably the best coffee. <laughs> it was uh, Jameson Bailey's and coffee. Oh, oh yeah. Mm hmm. You should have spilt it on him by accident. Yes. Oh man, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that would have been funny. Would have been a good one. <laughs> oh gosh. That sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah. It was still a good weekend. Okay. Well, I'm glad it was a good weekend. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that today was a great episode. And I'm mm -hmm. hopefully whoever's listening that it was a good episode for you too. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our podcast. Rate us five stars. If you're able to, you can find all the information at solo.to slash funny business. Matthew. Yes, sir. What is the advice for the good people of the funny business world? Go on a road trip. Road, road trips trip. Are road trips are great. Uh, I do love flying. However, uh, nothing wrong oh. with like a little day trip. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't don't you start. Don't you put that evil on me. Um, no, road trips can be fun sometimes. Um, so, yeah, it, just, it doesn't have to be far. You don't have to drive like four hours. Or eight. Right, or eight. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Whatever. Drive an hour. Go visit something, even if it's for the day. You don't have to stay overnight. Make a long day trip out of it. Go to the beach. Make a day trip to the beach. Road trip to the beach. Uh, it can. can be fun. Make sure you grab some snacks. Um, try to hold your pee so you don't have to stop constantly. Uh, but yeah, go on a road trip. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. Yes, sir. And make sure, well, can't really avoid it. Make sure you fill your tank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the worst part. Yeah, that's, yeah. And also make sure that you have a passenger, somebody sitting in the passenger seat that knows how to play some bangers. Mm-hmm. Yep. Or and it also helps play uh, yeah. roadmap. Yes, navigation. Yes. Yep. Co 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 pilot. Co pilot. That's I'm always. I love being a co pilot. Yeah, so. Sam. But that concludes another episode of the Funny Business Podcast. And until the next time, we'll see you all in the next episode. Stay safe, everyone. <laughs>